Hello, I'm Cindy Salone and I work with the Forsyth County School District with their legal services. And I've been asked to talk to you today about the legal aspects of bullying and in specific cyberbullying. It won't take long to tell you about the law, but I can assure you that while it can be summed up quickly, it is serious and the consequences are long lasting. First, what is bullying? It is aggressive behavior that is unwanted and involves a real or perceived imbalance of power. It is repeated over time. It includes making threats, spreading rumors, attacking someone physically or verbally, and excluding someone from a group on purpose. Cyberbullying takes place using electronic technology and includes email, social networking sites, instant messages, embarrassing pictures, videos, or websites, or fake, fake profiles. Now, what about Georgia? Georgia is one of 44 states that have specific laws concerning bullying and is one of the toughest in the nation. Georgia's law covers all types of bullying and cyberbullying is considered a part of the law. In fact, the law prescribes what will happen to the school and the student if the bullying continues up to three times. The school will lose its funding if it takes no action. The student will be required to transfer to another school away from the victim. What this means for you. Schools take bullying seriously and understand that cyberbullying is becoming more and more common. Your school can, cares about all of the students and wants to have a safe and secure place for all students as well as to keep its funding. If you bully someone, you won't have a choice about staying at your school. Your parents will have no say in keeping you at your school. You will be transferred. In addition, there are misdemeanor charges that can be brought, and depending on the severity of the bullying, felling, felony charges can be brought. Violating civil rights, criminal harassment, disturbing school assembly are examples of criminal charges and the charges can be juvenile or adult depending on the actions. Listening to this is no fun, and as I said at the beginning, it doesn't take long to say it, but it is serious and can have consequences that could follow you for a long time. Saying you were just teasing, it was only a joke, I didn't mean anything by it, I was angry. None of these is a defense. The, de the best defense is to not be accused of cyberbullying in the first place. Be careful of what you say and do. Take it seriously. Your school and the laws do. Hello, my name is Tim Monroe. I'm the Assistant Director of School Safety and Student Discipline for Forsyth County Schools. What I'll be talking to you today is, is about if a student were to be charged by the administration of a school for bullying a student for three times. In this case, what will happen is a tribunal request will be made by the school administration. And what we will do in turn is we will send out a charge letter to the parents stating that the student will be expected to appear before a tribunal hearing with the parents. And what they will do is the school will, will state what has happened and what has taken place out at the school. The, it is the, stu the school's responsibility to show what has taken place and then the student will have to state what they have done if they have or have not done that particular, uh, particular incident. What happens is in, there are two stages to a hearing. In the first stage, a student, uh, they will listen to the charges against the student and make the decision whether the student is guilty or innocent. And in the second stage, if, it, if the student were to be found guilty, in the second stage, then what will happen is the student's character, grades, uh, any type of discipline behavior at the school will be considered. Uh, then a tribunal hearing panel will listen to the charges, will also determine what the consequences for that student will be. Uh, that could be possibly either the student will be transferred to another school, it could be even in, into an alternative setting, whether it could be Gateway or the IG program that the school system has.
Hello, my name is Todd Shirley. I'm the Director of School Safety and Student Discipline, as well as the Director of Gateway Academy for the Forsyth County School System. Gateway Academy would be one of your options if you were found guilty through tribunal. Specifically, we are talking about bullying today. Bullying would be one of the offenses that could land you at Gateway Academy. We are located directly across from Forsyth Central High School in the Hill Education Center. Gateway Academy currently offers six periods a day, one hour per period. We may not be able to meet all of your classes that you are currently carrying at your high school, so please give consideration before you choose Gateway Academy as one of your options. No athletic clubs or activities will be held at Gateway Academy and you are also banned from your school campuses or any athletic or extracurricular events that your school would be participating in in Forsyth County or outside of Forsyth County as well. Gateway Academy requires you to wear a uniform and we have a very strict code of conduct. Please choose wisely before you end up at Gateway Academy.